guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be another brutally honest review, and this time we're going in on Alicia Marie. So Alicia Marie is, I would say probably like one of the biggest female YouTubers in that like lifestyle, fashion, comedy type space. I've been watching her channel for a while, and I'm pretty sure this is the first merch she's like ever done, ever released. So there was a lot of hype around it. She was super excited about it. You guys were tweeting me about it all the time, asking me if I was gonna review it. So I placed an order when she released it of every single item in the collection. There were four items and uh, they just got delivered yesterday. So we are going to be unboxing, reviewing, trying on all of this. And like I said, I think Alicia is a really awesome creator, but I am going to try to separate her merch from her as a creator, if that makes sense. Like just because I like her content doesn't mean I'm gonna go easy on this review. It's brutally honest. So one thing that I did notice is that her sizing was pretty inclusive. Definitely not on like the Emma Chamberlain side, but not quite to the James Charles inclusivity. Both of her tops came in an extra small to 2X and her hoodies came from extra small to extra large. So not not like completely inclusive of every plus size, but at least it's not just one size. No tea, no shade. Sorry, Emma. Also, speaking of that, I did just order Emma Chamberlain's new merch that you guys had been tweeting me about. So that review will be coming up probably beginning of January, considering it hasn't even arrived yet. But anyways, this video is about Alicia's merch. So let's get into it. So let's start with the item that I am arguably most excited for, and that is the Fleece Varsity Crew Neck. So this sweatshirt came in an extra small to extra large. It was $45 and I ordered it in a large. Let's open it up. A large is my typical size. I'm almost always a large. Very rarely do I have to go up or down. Pretty much always a large. So this, I think it's supposed to be pretty big and oversized and it does definitely look a little bit wider and more comfy, which I like. It's got the A on the front for Alicia and then on the back it says Marie number 11. So in Alicia's like promo photos she was wearing this kind of in that like oversized sweatshirt look with high boots. That's not really a look that I usually go for. If I wanted that look I probably would need to size up so that it would be super long but I like wearing this kind of stuff with like leggings or jeans so that's how I'm gonna try it. So our first item, the oversized Varsity Fleece, very comfortable and not too bulky, which I like. I feel like compared to most sweatshirts, this is a little bit thinner and I feel like it could pass for more of like an actual outfit, not just a hoodie. It's long enough to wear with leggings. It definitely covers my butt and we've got the cute little Marie detail on the back. It is interesting that the merch is so like Alicia centered, which like duh, because it's Alicia merch, but it definitely is like merch and not kind of like merch slash clothing line like James Charles was. Like James Charles, none of his merch like had his face on it or even his name. It all was like sisters. But for Alicia's, we've got the A, the Marie, one of the other later has like pictures of her all over it. I don't think that's necessarily the kind of merch that I would buy, but I'm sure a lot of her audience does want things like that, so it makes sense. Definitely true to size, as long as you're not trying to wear it as a dress. I think this would be a little short for me to wear as a dress, but with leggings, just as like an oversized hoodie, perfect size, and definitely enough room around the midsection too. Like you can see, I've got plenty of fabric here. It's not hugging my tummy at all, which I love. So I think I'd give this one a seven and a half out of 10. Pretty cute, pretty comfortable, but not like a hundred percent my style because you know, it does say Marie on the back. I guess that's, that is my middle name though. So I can just pretend it's mine and A is for awesome, go me. Number two, okay, this one feels, even in the packaging, this one feels like a lot different material than the first item. So this is the Update Time crop top. This comes from an extra small to a 2X. I got it in a large and it was 25 bucks. Let's open it up. Oh, I, I really like the material of this. Cute. Okay, I like that this is simple, but it still has something that like her audience gets, but that isn't necessarily like in your face. This is merch. This could just be like a cute little crop top from like PacSun or something, which I like. Definitely cropped and it has like the cut edge. Like it's supposed to be like, you just cut it off, you know, that kind of look. And then on the back, it has her signature on it. I'm a big fan of that more like subtle merch look. So this one is probably my favorite and I haven't even tried it on, but let's see how it holds up. I 
I love this top and I think I figured out why. I At first I was just like, oh, this is like a really cute piece of merch. I love this. And I realized why I love it so much. This is like a really similar design to my Curvy Crew shirt on my merch slide, which is like very my style, which is obviously why I designed it like that. It's like a white crop top with a little design in the corner. I basically know why I love this so much now, but Regardless, it's a really cute top and I really like it. I love the way this crop top hits. My favorite thing is when crop tops are loose and boxy like this, but don't go too long. Like this hits right at my high-waisted jeans, which is like my ideal crop top. The fabric is really thin and lightweight. So it is slightly see-through, but like basically all white shirts are see-through. Like even with my Curvy Crew shirt, I always wear a little half tee underneath just cause it's white. So I'm wearing the half tee underneath this and that works perfectly. You can't even tell. I really like the fit. It's not too loose but it's not like fitted I think the large was the perfect size for me and I think like the raw edge that gives that like I just cut this off myself look is really really cute I love that what else can I even say about this it's just a really cute crop top it's comfortable it's high quality I give this I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 I know that might seem like unrealistically high for a literal white plain crop top but this is something I will actually wear and actually get use out of and it's cool that it's supporting a youtuber without being like in your face about it definitely true to size if you're gonna order one of these definitely just get your regular size unless you don't like things to show your belly this hits right above my belly button I got my little belly button piercing in so if you are wanting to buy this top but you don't want it to be a crop top, that would be the only reason to size up. But other than that, perfect fit. Item number three, we have the So Extra hoodie. This came in an extra small to an extra large. This was $45 and everything else I ordered in a large, but this specifically in the name of it said oversized. So I decided to go down to a medium. And then as soon as I placed the order, I saw on Alicia's Twitter that she tweeted out like what sizes she was wearing in the photos for reference. And funnily enough, she was actually wearing a medium in everything except this that she went up to a large. So I did the exact opposite. I was a large in everything and went to down to a medium for this and I'm definitely bigger than Alicia so if she wanted a large in this maybe I shouldn't have gone with the medium but I had already placed the order I wasn't about to cancel it so let's open it up and see how it looks okay so here's the hoodie it definitely does look oversized like I think this will be a comfortable fit for me it says so extra on the sleeves on the front and then on the back on the bottom it has her signature all right let's try this on The So Extra hoodie, I, I like this one. I think this one's really cute. I love the design, the little So Extra on the front and then on the sleeves, I think adds a little extra something so it's not just one thing printed. Also on the back, it still has her signature. So it's still like Alicia branded in some way. I, I can't believe this is a medium. It definitely runs big. And she says in the name, it's oversized. So I'm glad she put that. So I did order the medium. And I think if it was the large, it would work to wear with like thigh high boots, but that's not really a style. I go for. I'm thinking she probably was wearing a size up for that reason. Like if I tried to wear this with boots, that would be a little scandalous. But in terms of just like a normal hoodie, if you're wanting to wear it like a hoodie like this, I would size down for sure. Plenty of room. It's just like a normal hooded sweatshirt. Definitely high quality, pretty comfy on the inside. And I think the price is fair. 45 bucks for a hoodie, I feel like is pretty standard. So I'm glad that she didn't just jack up the prices for the fun of it. The material on this sweatshirt is definitely different than the one on the first like fleece, the Varsity Crew Neck. This one is thicker. The other one was fleece it was a little bit softer. They're definitely like two different blanks that were printed on and this one is more of a, a true hoodie. So yeah, I would give this one, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. Really nice, really cute and sizing is definitely a little bit big. So I'd recommend sizing down unless you wanna wear it as a dress. The last item is her photo collage tee. This was $25 and I got it in a large. This item is probably, honestly, like if I wasn't ordering this for the video, this would be the item I'd be least likely to order just because it's not my style. I don't wear a lot of t-shirts and also I don't think I would ever wear like someone's face on my shirt unless it was like the Jonas Brothers because like we stand. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I still have a Jonas Brothers shirt that fits me. But anyways, I wouldn't normally wear like a shirt with a YouTuber's face on it. So I just don't think this is my style, but I could see how a lot, like especially of her younger fans would wanna wear a shirt like this. Plus I just don't wear a lot of like big t-shirts. This does look very oversized. So at the very least I could probably wear it as a PJ shirt, but let's try it on and see how it works. Okay. 
Okay, so here is the picture collage shirt. Let's talk about the fit first. For a like oversized t-shirt, I do like this fit. I feel like a lot of merch when they do like a woman's cut, and I'm assuming most of Alicia's audience is probably women. So I feel like most YouTubers would do like a woman's cut, which would be like tight and fitted and not not flattering on my body. So I do like that this is just kind of more of a normal t-shirt cut, but the material is really light and thin, so it's not making me feel bulky. It is super, super long. Like I said, this is the large, so it's definitely meant to be long. I'm gonna go check the photo real quick, because I'm not sure how she styles this in her promo photos. Oh, okay, I just went and looked, and in a few photos, she's wearing it long like this, but in most of them, she tied it to be like a crop top. Okay, so here the shirt is tied with high-waisted jeans the way that Alicia styled it in the promo photos. I definitely like the shirt more when it's like this. I think it's way more my style and it's still like showing her branding. Also, it's just way more flattering. I never really wear like long oversized t-shirts because I feel like they kind of swallow me up and hide my hips, whereas I feel like this cropped with the jeans is something I would totally wear. I'm still a little bit like off put by just her face everywhere. But I, I get that that's probably what most of her audience wants. I just wouldn't wear something like this out in public normally. But I do like the fit. I think the colors are really cute. And yeah, it's a pretty cute normal t-shirt, especially when it's tied like this. But if she was gonna tie it like this in the promo photos and that's how she was gonna style it, I don't, I don't get why she wouldn't just like have it built like this, you know? Like why not just cut it into a crop top or have it designed to gather in the front? I don't know, that's just my two cents. But I still do like the top. I would give it, let's give it a six and a half out of 10. I think it's not too bad, but not really my style. It's not super flattering because it's just a big shapeless tee, but you can tie it like this and it makes a cute look. If you're gonna order this one, I would size down if you don't want to wear it like long with leggings. But if you like that look or you're gonna tie it like this, go in your regular size because you wanna make sure you have enough fabric to tie it in the front. So now that I've tried all the pieces of Alicia's merch, overall thoughts, I think it's totally fairly priced. The shirts are 25 and the hoodies are 45, which I think is totally fair. She could have easily just jacked up the prices for the heck of it and she didn't, but she kept the quality high, which is great. I don't know if the items are ethically sourced. I looked through the website and it didn't say anything, which probably means no, but not necessarily. Like I said, I think the quality of each of these pieces is pretty good. And you can tell that she took a lot of time on the designs. She didn't just like throw her name on a shirt. Each design is different. Each one is made with a different blank, a different material, a different style. There's a lot of variety, even in just the four pieces. I think it's definitely true to her audience. Like this shirt and the Marie fleece crew neck are two things that I think a younger audience would probably wear more. And then the update time crop and the so extra hoodie are things that like maybe a more older audience like someone like me would wear. Both of those last two items, the crop top and the so extra hoodie, I will definitely get use out of. So I think it's nice that she kind of put items in that work for either people who wanna wear her face out on a shirt or who wanna support her, but maybe wear something a little bit more subtle. I think it's nice that she has both. I think you can definitely tell that she put a lot of time and thought and energy into creating these designs because they're all different and unique unique and she didn't just throw her name on a shirt. Yeah, I think I think she did pretty well with the merch. I would recommend ordering it, but I would say that almost every piece does run big. I think I could have sized down in any of these and they still would have fit, which I am rarely a medium, so that's pretty surprising. But I do like that I was able to order my size and have that big oversized look. I think it works really well and all the pieces were comfortable and pretty cute. And I like that her line is pretty size inclusive. Obviously she doesn't go all the way through the span of plus size ranges, but going up to 2X is a lot better than a lot of YouTubers do. On my clothing line, we try to go up to 4X, but some items, literally the manufacturer of the blank will only go to 2X max. So I totally get that and I understand and I love that she at least included as many sizes as she could. It'd be awesome to see her expand into even bigger sizes, but I think this is definitely a really good start. So yeah, pretty good job, Alicia Marie. I'd give it solid B plus, A minus, pretty good merch. And that's the thing with these brutally honest reviews. I'm gonna call it like I see it. If I like it, I'll tell you. If I don't, I'll still tell you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but I'm also just not gonna be like mean and rude for the sake of it. I think these items are pretty good. She did a pretty good job.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Did you agree with me? Did you disagree? Are you gonna order her merch? And if you're new to my channel, do make sure that you are subscribed. I do reviews like this all the time, try-ons, investigations, hauls, body positivity, pretty much everything under that like fashion umbrella. And I would love to have you join the family. It has been growing so, so fast. So if any of you guys are new to the channel, I'm just so happy to have you here. Thank you for sticking around. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with another new video. Bye.